Thank you very much, Klaus-Dieter, for, for talking with us this afternoon. We would be really interested in your thoughts uh, from your experience about the biggest challenge that you see in achieving our internal energy market. And on the flip side, what is the biggest achievement so far in, in the same objective? I think uh, we have to uh, recognize that we are working on a kind of target model for completing also the electricity uh, market. And uh, what you can hear from time to time that we need a new market design, all this I do not believe. I think uh, we have a good target model, but as all the models, it has to evolve, develop over time. So I think that uh, you uh, need to think today, uh, is this target model still up to the challenges mm -hmm. uh, that are laying ahead of us? When you're asking me uh, the successes or also uh, the uh, challenges, I would say that uh, we have uh, some uh, success stories and I would uh, first and foremost I would like to mention here the day I had uh, market coupling that covers 75% of uh, all the um, energy uh, trade, which is uh, a very, very strong signal that uh, uh, we are capable to do it. We also have uh, made uh, uh, progress uh, in uh, developing, uh, uh, for instance, also uh, uh, some other areas uh, in the electricity market. but. Uh, it is also true uh, that we have some downsides, so good the story is in uh, day ahead, so sad is this story for intraday market coupling. And another challenge that I see within the current target model is that we have to also develop further the balancing market. Mm. Here uh, we have huge differences uh, between the member states and there is uh, still a lot of reluctance uh, to give it up uh, uh, for the sake of a pan-European balancing uh, or regional balancing market. So here you have the uh, challenges and success, but I think um, we are uh, on track and uh, it is just up for us to accelerate a bit. And if there were one area, if you were in a position to, to take a decision to change some one thing, which one would you think it would be the most effective? For me, it's clear, let me decide on the network codes. If I could do that, uh, within very short we would have seven, eight, maybe even nine very nice network codes in electricity and then uh, we would have a very uh, nice regulatory framework uh, for uh, the internal energy market for electricity. But of course, uh, life uh, is more difficult than that. There is no uh, one decider. Uh, we have to go through the procedures. And this is certainly something, uh, the network codes, we are lagging behind mm. schedule. And uh, we have to speed up. And that's also why in this forum I have announced uh, that uh, we will now reorganize our work. Uh, I have now also the commitment from NCOE and also from Acer uh, to help us so that we can uh, hope that by the end of next year we will have uh, done most of the work uh, that is um, linked to the network codes because they are crucial in order to uh, develop uh, our market. Indeed. Thank you so much for your You're time welcome. and for sharing your views with us. And we continue to work with you to deliver all this. Thank you. <laughs> Looking forward.